Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms chapter 4 verse 8, James chapter 5 verse 2, and Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for showing us that we have more to come. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Psalms chapter four, verse eight, in peace, I will lie down and sleep for you alone. O Lord, make me dwell in safety. So it is God who makes us dwell in safety. Right. And so that's a, a stance of faith. This is um, David. We know that during this time was like some of the worst moments of his life where his enemy was after him. And yet he was asleep in peace right? It says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep for you alone. Oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. So God is a source of our safety, not our house, not the locks on our doors, not the, the weapons or, or some sort of guard dog. No, it is God who makes us dwell in safety. And it's not in a place. It is a state of being. It says in peace, So, and who is that peace? That peace is the Prince of Peace. It is Christ. It says in Christ, basically, is the place that we do this. It says in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. So we can get physical sleep and and we can get restoration. Why? Because God alone is our place of refuge. And so while David was going through these great mental and spiritual battles um, that were causing even his body at certain times to break down, um, God was restoring him. God was keeping him. God was allowing him to have peace in his sleep. All right. And so the opposition to this, the opposite, um, which the unwise bride would be experiencing is this. Your riches have rotted and your garments are moth eaten. Wow. So that's basically speaking of the fact that the things that you hold um, as valuable um, as an unwise bride, those things are going to deteriorate. Those things can't comfort you right your riches have rotted your garments have are moth eaten so the the whereas a wise bride would seek advice from the world when she's going through distress instead you know she's supposed to be seeking god for that peace right instead she's supposed to be seeking the things um from the word to comfort her but instead she feels that her riches will comfort her and they're not going to do anything but rot right? They're going to be moth eaten and rotten. And and there's nothing that's going to be able to wrap around her to give her comfort. There's no, you know, amount of money that are going to cause her to um, not experience the shame when Christ returns. And so the third scripture that the Lord gave me was Hebrews chapter four, verse nine. So then there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. So it's only the people of God that are going to get this Sabbath rest. When God got done with his work, he rested on the Sabbath, the seventh day. We are going to get to this end of this race. We are going to enter into this Sabbath rest, this permanent state of being. You guys, it's about to be amazing. And all we have to do is just endure, overcome, abide with Christ, stay with him. He wants you. He desires you. He wants you to see the beauty of the loveliness that he has in store. He wants you to have peace even here, not peace in your circumstance, but peace inside of you. Peace that will allow you to have rest at night, sweet sleep. Receive that by faith from him. Amen. It's not based in your circumstance. It's based on Christ. Believe that he will. Believe that he cares. Believe that he can and he will. It says, so then there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. This rest is for his people. We're going to enter into it. Believe it. Receive it. Even now, as you sleep, even even as you as you go through your day, as you sit and and you have to endure all these trials, believe that you are about to enter into that Sabbath rest. Amen.
and know that you still have the peace regardless that peace is inside all right you guys let's pray thank you father god for this word these scriptures god bless them bless the children who are receiving god let them not allow the cares of this world to come inside let it just roll off their backs god Help them to stay in peace and safety. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, and he's going to do just that. Amen. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, so begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Also, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Make sure you go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and um, tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. And don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.